Aquaba Church family, friends and neighbors, welcome to our first virtual Ash Wednesday service. The celebration of Lent dates back to the 11th century, where the ritual of ashes was a customary part of Catholic, Roman Catholic, and Orthodox churches around the world, marking the beginning of the Lenten season. Traditionally, Lent was celebrated during the same time penitents in the church were preparing for baptism, while those who were already baptized in the church were preparing to review their baptismal vows at Easter. So in the early church, the experience of Lent was called a second baptism, meaning that we're not saved once, but many, many times. By the middle of the 16th century, the meaning of Lent moved away from a focus on baptism to become a time to acknowledge our collective guilt for sins. Repentance was seen as a way to avoid punishment for sin rather than a way to renew our baptismal commitment. For us here today in the Pan-African Orthodox Christian Church, Lent is a time for seekers to deepen our conversion strengthen our commitment to serve God and to renew our covenant faith. During the season of Lent, we seek to reconcile our relationship with one another and with the Most High. Our thing for this Lenten season is renewing God power within. Renewing God power within. And so our focus is not necessarily on individual conversion nor on personal petty sin, but more emphasis is on becoming the whole people of God. We are a community of sinners in need of repentance and renewal. The covenant says, I will be your God if you will be my people. And so Lent is a time to turn away from sins of omission, the ways that we have failed to honor our divine obligations, and to be more faithful to the covenant agreement. Ash Wednesday is our collective call to conversion. We wear the ashes as symbolic of our desire to be reconciled with God. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So let us be reconciled unto the Lord our God today. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Bless his holy name, all that is in me. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and remember all his kindnesses in forgiving all your offenses, in curing all your diseases, in redeeming your life from the pit, in crowning you with the love and tenderness, in filling your years with prosperity in renewing your youth like an eagle's. Yahweh, who does what is right, is always on the side of the oppressed. He revealed his intention to Moses, his prowess to the son of Israel. Yahweh is tender and compassionate, slow to anger and most loving. His indignation does not last forever. His resentment exists a short time only. He never treats us, never punishes us as our guilt and our sins deserve. No less than the height of heaven over earth is the greatness of his love for those who fear him. He takes our sins farther away than the east from the west. As tenderly as a father treats his children, as Yahweh treats those who fear him, he knows what we are made of. He remembers we are dust. Man lasts no longer than grass, no longer than a wild flower he lives. One gust of wind and he is gone, never to be seen there again. Yet Yahweh's love for those who fear him lasts from all eternity and forever. Like his goodness to their children's children, as long as they keep his covenant, and remember to obey his precepts. Yahweh has fixed his throne in the heavens. His empire is over all. Bless Yahweh, all 
his angels, heroes mighty to enforce his word, attentive to his word of command. Bless Yahweh all his armies, servants to enforce his will. Bless Yahweh all his creatures in every part of his empire. Bless Yahweh my soul. Priests put on sackcloth and lament. Minister the altar, wail. Come, pass the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God. For the house of our God has been deprived of oblation and libation. Order a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly. Elders call together all the inhabitants of the country to the house of Yahweh our God. Cry out to Yahweh, oh, what a day. For the day of Yahweh is near. It comes as a devastation from Shaddai. He has not the food disappeared before our eyes? Have not joy and gladness vanished from the house of our God? Seeds shrivel under their clods. The barns are broken down. The granaries lie in ruins for lack of harvest. What mourning from the beast? The herds of cattle wandered, bewildered, because they have no pasture. Even the flocks of sheep must bear their punishment. To you, Yahweh, I cry. Fire has devoured the pastures on the heath. Flame has burnt up every tree in the orchard. Even the wild beasts and the flock wait anxiously for you. For the water courses have run dry, and the fire has devoured the pastures on the hearth. We now come to our invitation to confession. As disciples of the Black Messiah Jesus, we are divinely called to struggle against anything that leads us away from the love of God and our neighbor as ourselves. Repentance, fasting, prayer, study, and works of compassion all help us to return to that divine love. Therefore, I invite you, brothers and sisters, to commit yourselves to love God and neighbor as self by confessing your sin and by asking the Most High for the strength to persevere in your 40-day Lenten discipline. Please take just a few moments now for reflection and prayer.
Church family, please repeat after me. Most holy and merciful one, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints who have gone before us that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with all our heart, mind, and strength. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Let the saints of God say, have mercy on us, O Lord. We have been deaf to your divine call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been the mind of Christ. We have wasted your Holy Spirit. Let the saints say, have mercy on us, O Lord. We confess to you, Holy One, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy, and impatience in our lives. Let the saints of God say, we confess to you, O Lord, our culture of self-indulgence, appetites of greed and selfish ways, and our exploitation of one another. Let all the saints of God say, we confess to you, O Lord, our anger at our own frustration and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. Let the saints of God say, we confess to you, O Lord, our intemperate love of worldly goods and creature comforts, and our dishonesty in our daily life and work. Let the saints of God say, we confess to you, O Lord, for our negligence in prayer, meditation, fasting, and the practice of the spiritual disciplines, and our failure to commend the faith that is within us. Let the saints say, we confess to you, O Lord, accept our repentance, O Lord, for the many wrongs that we have done, for our neglect of human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Let the saints of God confess, accept our repentance, O Lord. for our waste and pollution of your earthly creation and our lack of concern for those who will come after us. Let the saints of God say, accept our repentance, O Lord. And for failure to consistently meet our divine obligations, sacrificial giving, communal work, and bringing the blind and lost into the fellowship of our covenant community. Knowing that these actions are essential to our faith, our program, and our struggle. Let the saints of God say, accept our repentance, O Lord. Church family, let us pray. Restore us, O Lord, and let your grace and mercy never depart from us. Favorably hear us, Most High, for your mercy and your goodness are everlasting. We say Ashe and Amen. Anyone who says, I love God and hates his brother is a liar. Since a man who does not love the brother that he can see cannot love God, whom he has never seen. So this is the commandment that he has given us that anyone who loves God must also love his brother.
Brothers and sisters, please take a few moments now to offer a silent prayer, and then you may anoint yourself with ash, making the sign of the cross on your forehead. As you repeat these words, I turn away from my sins and follow Jesus, our standard bearer. I turn away from my sins and follow Jesus, my standard bearer. I turn away from my sins and follow Jesus, my standard bearer. Find find a rest or be perfectly blessed until all on the altar is laid. Is your Does the spirit control? You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him your body and soul. These 40 days, for these 40 days and 40 nights, will you walk the path of sacrifice? Or will you turn away pretending you cannot hear the still small voice? Turn down that noise in your life, brothers and sisters, and come away to the quiet place, Duara, where God is waiting. Ask the Most High your questions. Tell the Supreme One your doubts. The Creator is listening to your heart. For these 40 days and 40 nights, will you walk the path of sacrifice? Will you walk the path of sacrifice? I know you are afraid of where the road is leading, but the Lord wants to draw your heart deep into the desert where that still small voice will speak a word to restore and to renew your soul, offering a promise of the deliverance that you seek. Saints of God, let the Most High show you the spiritual fountain of consolation. Let her show you the river that flows through that desert Oh, please don't turn away from her today because this word has been whispering to you to make you run from healing. But please come to the Lord, run towards that still small voice. Do not be afraid. Let the Almighty One hold you in the shelter of a sacred heart. Let the Lord tell you once again, I love you, my child. I love you. For these 40 days and 40 nights, will you walk the path of sacrifice? Will you walk the path of sacrifice? Can you hear? God is calling out your name. Will you follow where he leads? God only wants to renew you. God only wants to restore you. God only wants to deliver you. God wants to cleanse you. The Most High wants to transform your life. So will you follow wherever she leads? Will you follow? Benedict. Blessed are you, most holy one, the giver of life and all things. 
Forgive us, Lord, for sometimes forgetting about your presence and your love in our lives. Holy One, as we walk through the Lenten season together, may the crosses of ashes that mark our foreheads be a reminder to us of whose we are. May our worship, prayer, and penitence this day be sustained throughout these 40 days of Lent. During this sacred season, turn our minds and hearts, our ears, hands, and feet back to you, O Lord, and bring us reconciled, refreshed, and renewed to the celebration of resurrection on Easter Sunday. Ashe and Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you were so moved by the Holy Spirit during our virtual village experience today, then I invite you to learn more about who we are as a Best Self Movement. There are three ways you can connect with us. First, go to our webpage, shrinesoftheblackmadonna.org. Once you get to our webpage, just scroll down to the bottom. And on the right, you'll see a tab that says, join our email list. Enter your email address and click subscribe. And once you do that, we will receive your inquiry and one of our ministers will reach out to you in a timely fashion. Now, if you're interested in joining the shrine, there's a tab on the left side that says join the shrine. Click on that tab and enter your name, your address, your phone number, your email address. And one of our pastors will speak with you about becoming a member of our Best Self Movement. Right below that tab is another link to a message from our presiding bishop, Jeremoji Menali Kimathi, which will share with you more information about what we believe, our faith, and our program and mission as a church. Also, you can reach us through our virtual church office, and that number is area code 833, and the number is 833-0755. Again, that's 833-833-0755. We look forward to you reaching out to us so that collectively we can work to build a pan-African world community with power. Asante Sana. family. Greetings, Pastor and Bayou Chewy here. And I come to you with just a few instructions as we prepare for our virtual purification ritual on Sunday, February 21st, 2021. The purification ritual is simply the act of renewing our baptismal vows where we first said yes to the Most High through water purification and our acceptance of the covenant. Our shared faith teaches us that we are not saved once, but many, many times. So we look forward to this annual ritual of cleansing, especially as we collectively work together through the 40-day Lenten journey. For this ritual experience, all you need is a bowl of water and some hyssop. Your bowl should be a little bigger than a cereal bowl, a medium-sized bowl. The color the material doesn't really matter. On the day of the ritual, on that Sunday, you're just going to fill your bowl with water and add your hyssop. If you have a tea bag, you can add the tea bag with hyssop. If you got loose tea, put the loose tea in or hyssop leaves, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Just drop it in the water and let it sit there until we actually do the ritual act. If you can't find hyssop for some reason, just use any essential oil that you have. Just put a few drops in the water and you'll be fine. Just place the bowl and a dry towel on a table or the place where you choose to do your ritual purification. 
that's all you need to be prepared. So I look forward to seeing each of you join us in this virtual Lenten Purification Ritual Sunday. So until then, be safe and stay healthy, my friends. Ashe and Amen.